In American Sign Language, there are several ways that a sign can indicate plurals. Listed here are the major ways to form plurals. Add an adjective that indicates plural. Index several locations. Duplicate the verb. Duplicate the noun. Add a number. Assign a classifier and duplicate it. I will give you one or more examples of each of these. Usually, it doesn't matter which method you choose. In fact, a person may choose to use more than one of these in the same sentence for clarity or for emphasis. Some of the adjectives you can add to show more than one include few, several, and many. When you use an adjective like these, it should come after the noun. For example, dog, few. Letter, several. Car, many. Group or group is also an adjective that is used to show more than one. For example, girl, group, stood in the corner. Mass is used if it is a large number. For example, friend, mass, came to wedding. Pointing to several locations where the noun might be is a common way of showing more than one. For example, dish, dirty, there, 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 on the table. To duplicate the verb, the verb is repeated in several locations, like this. The apples fell from the tree. Can be signed, apple, fall, 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 fall. Certain nouns can be duplicated, too. For example, cat, cats, way, ways, but not all nouns can be duplicated. If the plural has a specific number of things, you can add a number after the noun, like this, girl, five, or in a sentence, I have pencil, three. A specific number in a plural is often combined with pointing, like chair four around the room. Finally, you can assign a classifier to represent the noun and then repeat the classifier. For example, using the classifier F, if this is a button, then repeating it you have plural buttons. This is just an introduction to plurals. Remember, you can combine these methods of forming plurals in many ways. The World Federation of the Deaf is an international organization made up of deaf and hearing professionals to promote the interest and concerns of deaf people all over the world. It grew out of a desire among deaf associations from the United States and Europe to exchange ideas and experiences. Founded in 1951 with 16 representing countries and other observers at a World Congress in Rome, Italy, the WFD meets once every four years to adopt policies and plan programs. Its General Assembly consists of two delegates from every National Deaf Association, at least one of whom must be deaf. At least 50 countries are represented at any one Congress, and the official written languages of the WFD are English and French. Earlier in the program, we showed you how to sign numbers 
through 20. Watch and I will show you bigger numbers. 21. 22 is irregular, as are all the double numbers from 22 on. 22, 33, 44, 55, and so on. All of the other numbers follow a pattern that is easy to remember. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. See how the hand moves slightly to the side as each number is formed. Just follow the same pattern for the rest of the numbers through 99. That's right. 52, 67, 79, 81, 93. The sign for 100 is 1C. The C is probably taken from the Roman numeral for 100. 100, 200, 600. For numbers over 100, follow the same pattern as before. 101, 102, 103, 247, 469. Now we get to 1,000, 1,000, 4,000. 1,200, 3,545, 400,000. And this is million, one million, if you should ever need it, one million, two hundred thousand, five hundred fifty. Now, we can show you practical uses for numbers. First, fractions. Three-fourths. Notice that I drop the hand for the second number. Watch. Two-thirds. And for addresses, you sign them just the way you speak them. I live at 3311 Ridge Road or 409 Calvert Street. For whole dollars up to nine dollars, twist the hand. Watch. One dollar, two dollars, five dollars, nine dollars. For over nine dollars, use this sign for dollars and this sign for cents. Watch. Eleven dollars, fifty-two cents. Twenty-six dollars, forty-five cents. 